Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, this tutorial video is brought to you by NewQBO.com. NewQBO.com, uh, your one-stop QuickBooks Online and uh, Share blog. This blog is uh, rated among top 10 for QBO resources by actual users, actual QBO users, not by some QuickBooks talking heads. Uh, we have all kinds of resources for you. Uh, need to sign up for a free trial, QuickBooks free trial. We have external links just to do that. Just click this one, sign up QuickBooks. And it's right here. So you sign up QuickBooks from USA. Sign up QuickBooks from Canada. Sign up QuickBooks from UK. Sign up QuickBooks from Australia. So check it out and uh, uh, just put it yourself and uh, you know just spread the word. Thank you. So this video, I'm going to focus on uh, how to enter prepayment, vendor prepayment. You know, you have a vendor who wants prepayment and said, uh, we'll send you a bill later on, but you know, they want vendor prepayment. All right, so, uh, so I'm going to go to QuickBooks homepage here. So I'm going to write a check. Check. Okay, so I have a vendor. Uh, who wants prepayment okay so and you select your bank account and let's say this is for advertising like this $500 here okay so at this point you don't select account you select accounts payable in here accounts payable this one accounts payable accounts payable all right so uh, here's a check number number eight and uh, save and close so i'm going to go to vendors vendor space and here's the vendor who wants prepayment okay as you can see here you have a prepayment negative amount 500 dollars okay and so now you see a vendor bill down the road this enter vendor bill right here new transaction bill okay uh let's say the uh you know you got it on uh, 11 doesn't matter Okay, so now this is the point. Uh, so this is a vendor bill number. This is a vendor reference number. It says 1234. And this is when you select your, uh, uh, you know, uh, account for, uh, for this vendor. Account is, let's say this is for uh, account categories advertising. So $500. Okay. And save and close. Now as you can see here, you see 500, 500. And you also see, uh, although the open is it's, it's open, there's no open balance left, no overdue. But under action, you said make payment. You see make payment. Just click that one, and this is just to clear both uh, outstanding transactions. Check and bill. Apply against uh, apply this uh, check against this bill. All right. So the amount is still zero. Amount paid is still zero. There's nothing to be paid. Save and close. Now action is gone, and it's all clear okay so this is uh you know you just uh, receive bill for five hundred dollars so uh what happens if you receive uh six hundred dollar bill and you you made uh, five hundred dollars prepayment all right i'm going to show you that too i'm going to delete all these Okay, there's so nothing left here, so I'm going to start fresh again. Enter check. Accounts payable. 500. Save and close. Customer pays. New transaction. Select bill. Let's say bill there is... Uh, 26 and uh, advertising and let's say the bill is $600 and the bill reference number is say 456 save and close so as you can see here there's a $100 uh, you know balance due and you already paid 500 same thing click make payment okay so at this point uh, you know you have a choice you can select uh, check uh, checking account you know checking account 
or uh, even credit card so the safe checking account same account and then uh, the select these two so the balance due is 100 and 7 close that's it it's done everything is you know there's no action to be taken here all clear so that's how to do it kind of fairly easy well thank you for watching this video subscribe to our YouTube channels we have two channels VP controller VP controller new QBO like us on Facebook and visit our website newqbo.com thank you